what's up youtube it's your girl megan and i'm back with another video this video is going to be our first video of season 3 nba 2k22 now in this season 2k drop a brand new game mode for next gen involving the rooftop courts now this mode is something that i was particularly very very excited for because this whole time on 2k i'm like when are we gonna be able to play on the rooftop when are we gonna play on the rooftop i know it's a new thing that they added and they finally put the game mode in so with this new game mode it's just gonna be your my player and you're gonna be playing up against cpus or bots one of the great things about this game mode you do get xp for it so it's a nice little chill wait so you can level up your my player and stuff like that So to activate this game mode, there's a quest that you have to go talk to your agent Ricky in your apartment. And then Ricky's going to break it down for you whatever, and start talking to you about Jackson Ellis and whoever is the leader of your affiliations, Slam Ball League and stuff like that. And he's going to pretty much bring up these games and he's going to tell you exactly what you got to do. And then once you do that, you just want to go over to your affiliation's rooftop court, and that's where it's all going to start. So all you have to do is win all of the rooftop games. It's a different set of rooftop games in different affiliations. You have to win all of those, compete for in a City Sun Ball tournament, and win that championship belt. There is a prize once you complete this challenge and win every game. I know it's been a lot of talk in the 2K community about Season 3 and how they feel like it's an L and how the rewards aren't that great, but I will give this to 2K. The rewards, they may not be the greatest, but I do like all of the scenery changes that they have made to the game for Season 3, so I will give them that on that. They do need to work on giving us better rewards in the future, and hopefully they do so, and I do like the fact that they added this new game mode, so hopefully they they add new game modes throughout the year so the game won't get boring let me know in the comment section what you guys think of season three let me know what some of the rewards that you guys think would have been better options for season three or different game modes and things that they should be able to implement in the game to keep things interesting fresh and fun for us to play What I did notice about this game mode, if you try to play this game mode on multiple builds, it's pretty much going to start you over from the beginning. So like, I started this game mode playing on my two-way facilitator. Say if I switch my build, say if I switch to one of my builds, like the games that I already have completed, they're not going to be for both builds. It's going to start me back over for the, in the beginning. So if you have different builds, you can do this. You can play this challenge on all different builds and stuff like that and still get you some XP points. But that's pretty much it. That's really all to this new game mode. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. If you're going to be playing. If you're going to be trying to compete for that Slam City belt. I know I'm going to complete it. I got to have that Slam City belt around my waist. But I like how the parks and stuff look. I like the court. I like the um. I'm loving the winter thing for the courts. That's how it look. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like. Comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm out.